Penicillin. You might not think much of it now, but you have to understand how massive this was in 1928, because at the time, you could have gotten cut by a rusty fence, and that was it. You're dead. Accidentally get pneumonia? Dead. Interestingly enough, the discovery in 1928 was almost accidental. Scottish scientist Alexander Fleming accidentally left a petri dish of mold growing on bread with another petri dish containing other bacteria. When he came back, he noticed that the mold from the bread prevented the growth of these bacteria. Penicillin's availability transformed once fatal diseases like pneumonia and strep throat into manageable ailments. Its widespread use marked a pivotal moment in healthcare, significantly shaping modern medicine and prolonging human life expectancy. So yes, the biggest invention in the 20th century came from moldy bread. Microwave. Before it, heating food meant waiting patiently by the stove or oven, hoping your meal wouldn't burn or dry out. In 1945, a scientist named Percy Spencer stumbled upon the power of microwaves while working with radar technology. He noticed a candy bar melting in his pocket near a huge military device's live magnetron. He experimented further, using microwaves to cook popcorn and eggs, eventually creating the first microwave oven. They now provide quick, convenient cooking compared to traditional stoves and grills. Their rapid heating method preserves nutrients and flavors. Microwaves enable efficient meal preparation. Splitting the atom. An atom is the smallest unit of an element, consisting of a center, the nucleus, surrounded by a cloud of electrons, negatively charged particles. For reference, a grain of sand is nearly a million times bigger than a single atom. Meaning, before 1932, it was science fiction to try and use atomic energy to generate any form of power, even though, theoretically, it could prove vast amounts compared to the burning of wood. Then, in 1932, scientists James Chadwick and Ernest Walton achieved the seemingly impossible. They split the atom. Using a particle accelerator, they bombarded lithium atoms with protons, causing them to break into smaller helium nuclei. The nuclear fission breakthrough revealed the immense energy in the atom's core. A single uranium atom being split will release more than 20 million times more energy than a single atom of wood being burnt. With nuclear energy, we can create clean and sustainable energy that can power millions of homes with just a few blocks of uranium as compared to the millions of tons of coal or wood. Electricity Electricity wasn't necessarily invented, as it existed naturally through things like lightning, but it was harnessed over time and used. Perhaps the most famous experiment would be in the 1750s, when Benjamin Franklin flew a kite with a metal key attached during a lightning strike, proving the electrical nature of lightning and sparking further research. We could generate electricity by things like static. Now the issue was how to use this energy. Over the next few centuries, scientists like Volta invented the first practical battery, providing a steady source of electricity, while Faraday discovered the principle of electromagnetic induction, which laid the foundation for generating electricity on a larger scale. The invention of the light bulb in the late 19th century proved we could convert electrical energy into light. Instant noodles. They emerged from the inventive mind of Momofuku Ando in post-World War II Japan. Momofuku Ando noticed large lines outside ramen shops and envisioned a convenient way to enjoy ramen at home. His invention of instant noodles quickly gained popularity, spreading across Asia and eventually becoming a worldwide phenomenon. Instant noodles were born, offering a portable, shelf-stable meal with hot water that could be ready in minutes. Ando's creation revolutionized mealtime, providing a convenient solution for busy individuals and changing how the world eats. Eats. From college dorms to office pantries, instant noodles have become a global staple, offering a taste of comfort in a hurry. Refrigerator Before the invention of the refrigerator, preserving food meant relying on techniques like salting, drying, or submerging in ice. The most common way to preserve meat is by making it jerky, but this was in no way as good as modern-day jerky. 
Hundreds of years ago, food was cooled with ice or in cool cellars, but that would only last less than 12 hours. But the mechanical refrigerator uses a special liquid that goes through a process where it gets squished, cooled down, turned into a gas, and then sucked back in to cool things off again. A never-ending loop keeps your food nice and cold, even when it's hot outside. The light bulb. The development of the practical light bulb wasn't a solo act by one inventor, but rather a collaborative effort involving numerous individuals. The invention of the practical light bulb involved a series of experiments. In 1879, Edison created a bulb that could last for extended periods using a carbonized bamboo filament. Enclosed in a vacuum-sealed glass bulb, this filament could glow for many hours without burning out. Edison's key breakthrough was developing a commercially viable light bulb with a long-lasting filament, paving the way for widespread adoption of electric lighting. Thomas Edison is widely credited with the invention due to his team's successful creation of a commercially available bulb in 1879. However, his team included minds like Nikola Tesla, who significantly developed the direct direct current DC electrical system that powered these early light bulbs. Plastic Plastic is an insanely long-lasting material that has almost infinite uses. In 1907, Leo Baconlund introduced Bakelite, the first fully synthetic plastic. Since then, plastics have multiplied, finding applications in virtually every industry, from packaging and construction to healthcare and transportation. Plastics have revolutionized packaging, extending the shelf life of food and reducing waste through lightweight, durable containers. In construction, plastics contribute to energy efficiency and design flexibility, while in healthcare, they enable sterile medical devices and life-saving equipment. Plastic is the perfect double-edged sword because plastic's half-life is extremely long compared to anything we create. The problem with plastic disposal is that burning plastics releases extremely toxic chemicals into the atmosphere. Mapping the Genome DNA is a library containing vast information, but the books are chaotic and out of order. This is similar to how scientists viewed the human genome before the genome mapping. It is an entire set of DNA instructions in a cell. Like all living organisms, the human genome carries the genetic instructions determining our physical traits and functions. These instructions are encoded in DNA, a complex molecule resembling a twisted ladder. The Human Genome Project, HGP, launched in 1990, aimed to sequence and map all the genes of the human genome, providing a comprehensive blueprint of human DNA. The completion of the HGP in 2003 marked a historic milestone, revealing the sequence of over 3 billion base pairs that make up human DNA. It was an effort that provided in insights into the genetic basis of human traits and diseases and laid the groundwork for advancements in medicine, agriculture, and biotechnology. Genome mapping has accelerated crop improvement efforts in agriculture by intensifying genes responsible for desirable traits such as yield, pest resistance, and nutritional content. Blockchain Technology At its core, blockchain is a decentralized, distributed system that records transactions across a network of computers securely and transparently. As individuals or groups first proposed the concept of blockchain using the fake name Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 as the underlying technology behind the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. Blockchain technology enables chronologically recorded transactions, where each data block is linked to the previous one forming a chain. This decentralized nature eliminates the need for intermediaries like banks or financial institutions, reducing transaction costs and increasing transparencies. One of the key features of blockchain is its security. Due to its decentralized nature and different techniques, blockchain provides high security against tampering and fraud. Once a transaction is recorded on the blockchain, it becomes unchanging and transparent, making it highly resistant to manipulation. Solar Panels the basic principles behind solar energy conservation were first discovered in 1839 by French physicist Alexander Edmond Becquerel, who observed the photovoltaic effect where certain materials generate electric current when exposed to light. These special panels are covered in tiny squares called solar cells. When sunlight hits these cells, the light gets converted into electricity. 
similar to how a battery works. This electricity can then be used to power your home. It's similar to having a mini power plant on your roof using the sun's free and endless energy. In 1954, researchers at Bell Laboratories in the United States developed the first practical solar cell. Today, solar panels are manufactured using various photovoltaic materials, including crystalline silicon, thin film semiconductors, and emerging technologies like perovskite solar cells. As a result, solar energy has emerged as a leading alternative to fossil fuels, offering a clean, sustainable, and abundant source of electricity for the future. Vaccines In the 18th century, Edward Jenner observed that milkmaids who had contracted cowpox seemed immune to the more deadly smallpox virus. Cowpox was a common disease then similar to smallpox, but less deadly. Building on this observation, Jenner experimented in 1796, where he gave a sample to a young boy, James Phipps, with material from a cowpox sore. Later, he exposed Phipps to smallpox, confirming his immunity. This discovery laid the foundation for vaccination, a term derived from the Latin vacca for cow. Jenner's smallpox vaccine became the first successful vaccine, paving the way for the eventual eradication of smallpox and inspiring the development of vaccines for other diseases. Vaccines are humanity's superheroes, defending us against some of the deadliest diseases known to man. They work by stimulating the immune system to recognize and fight off specific pathogens, such as viruses or bacteria, without causing the disease, literally saving billions of lives. Stethoscope In the early 1800s, a French doctor named René Lenné faced an interesting dilemma. He was treating a young woman who was too overweight for him to comfortably use the traditional method of placing his ear directly on her chest to listen to her heart and lungs. So Lenné came up with a quick solution. He rolled up a piece of paper into a tight tube and used it to listen to the woman's chest. Surprisingly, he found it amplified the sounds of her heart and lungs much better than the traditional method. Manet then improved his paper tube by crafting a more sophisticated version from wood. The first stethoscope was born. Gunpowder Around the 9th century AD in China, alchemists seeking an elixir of immortality stumbled upon something far more explosive gunpowder. The alchemists accidentally discovered it around the 9th century as they combined saltpeter, charcoal, and sulfur, hoping to get gold. They discovered an explosive mixture. This accidental mixture revolutionized warfare, shaping history with its devastating power and becoming a cornerstone of military technology worldwide. Over time, the potential of gunpowder for propulsion was recognized. Early firearms emerged, transforming warfare. Armies equipped with muskets and cannons gained significant advantages, changing battle tactics and influencing the course of history. While mainly associated with warfare, gunpowder also found uses in peaceful applications. It facilitated mining and construction by enabling more efficient methods for rock blasting. Quarries and tunnels could be dug deeper and faster, paving the way for infrastructure development. 